module 4 tacky 3 tacky 3 is basically a branch of cooking which involves preparing cold meat products so in olden days it is believed that tacky 3 is a section which is deals with cooked pork products but nowadays tacky 3 deals with all kind of cold meat products cold meat products in the sense all kinds of cured and preserved meats Shakyatri is the art of preparing and assembling cured meat and other meat products such as bacon, ham, sausage, cold cuts, etc. The correct French pronunciation is Shakyatri. Okay, so you need to remember about the spelling as well as the actual pronunciation of Shakyatri. So in this module, we are going to discuss about various Shakyatri products. Here you can see a traditional Shakyatri shop and it is basically a European concept and as we studied in the last uh, last module about the history of Kathmandu, the harvesting was done only once or twice in a year so they need to preserve their meat and they need to use so curing salt curing or by smoke curing are some of the methods they adopted and this led to a tradition called uh, the, the usage of Shakyutra products first product which we are going to discuss is force meat it is basically a mixture of lean meat with fat by grinding the ingredients so basically force meat is used for stuffing or as a filling for various other shakutra products it is made by grinding meat with fat so we are getting a, a minced product and we are using it with flavorings as a filling for other foodstuffs Force meat is used as a filling in various shakutra products such as quenelles, sausage, path, terrain, balutin, calendine, etc. Various meats were used such as pork, fish, seafood, game meats like venison which is the deer meat, boar, boar means wild pig or rabbit, poultry, game birds, veal, pork liver, etc. are used in the production of force meat so remember force meat is basically a minced meat with fat so and along we are adding seasonings and flavorings but it is basically a mixture of lean meat with fat by grinding the ingredients here you can see the picture of uh, force meat and this is a end product like this is actually a terrain and in that the force meat is stuffed and it is cooked so this is the force meat and this is how a force meat looks like after cooking there are various types of force meats straight force meat country style force meat gratin force meat muslin force meat and 543 emulsion force meat so it varies according to the ingredients used the texture of the uh, minced minced product the binding agent used the flavoring agents use so these are some of the criteria which makes the difference in this classification first one is straight force meat straight force meat is made by grinding equal quantity of pork meat pork fat with the dominant meat so the dominant meat can be any kind of meat or even it can be pork meat Pork is commonly used, fish and poultry are very rarely used. So straight force meat is normally made of pork and or other meats but fish and poultry are rarely used. It is finely grounded so that it is less dense. And the common seasoning agents used are shallots, wine, all spices, ground white pepper etc. And the binding agent which is used in this is myosin. Myosin is basically a connective a kind of protein which presents in the meat it is act as a natural binding agent so straight force meat pork meat pork fat and dominant meat are in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 here you can see the picture of straight force meat it's a preparation and here you can see the force meat and it is used as a stuffing here Next one is a country style force meat. It is also called Kambania. 
Bani basically means uh, from country style or uh, from a village based or it, it can be termed like uh, homemade or something like that okay it have a coarse texture it is not that much fine as straight force meat and the commonly used ingredients are pork jowl fat pork liver etc and the common seasonings used are onion garlic peppercorns juniper berries bay leaf nutmeg etc and here the binding agent may be eggs panada or fat panada is basically a mixture of flour and water or the paste of bread soaked in milk so this any of this three can be used as a binding agent in country style force meat here you can see the picture of country style force meat it is not that much fine as straight force meat next one is a gratin force meat the speciality of gratin force meat is that ingredients are cooked before grinding and this is the only kind of force meat which in which the ingredients are cooking prior to the grinding any meat can be used for this type of force meat and it have a smooth texture with a nutty flavor nutty flavor basically means a flavor similar to nuts or uh, the flavor when we get when we melt the butter and all so it is because of the it is because we are cooking the ingredients prior to grinding and egg is the normal binding agent used in this one so remember gratin as the name describes it is the ingredients are cooked prior to the grinding here you can see the cooking process and we are grinding it and we are getting a smooth paste like next one is a muslin force meat lean meat or fish and seafoods are normally used so muslin is the force meat made by normally by lean white meat poultry fish seafood etc and the specialty is that it is blending with egg and cream and it provide a light creamy texture so it is basically a creamy textured force meat and it have a mild flavor and egg and cream itself act as the binding agent in this case so remember it have a mild flavor and a creamy texture you can see the process of preparing muslin force meat and the end product is like uh, similar to a paste it's very fine next is the 543 emulsion force meat in this meat fat and ice were in the ratio of 5 4 3 respectively that means meat five part four part fat and three part of ice these three are blending together to get 543 emulsion force meat pork and jowl fat is commonly used the texture is smooth paste and the flavoring is based on the end product which we are preparing so this is one of the commercially using or most commonly using force meat type for uh, normal products and the binding and used in this are non-fat dry milk sodium caseinate and phosphates so this is commonly used for all kinds of products or commercially prepared products because it have a long shelf life and it is smooth in texture as well as it will set or it will bind together while cooking nicely that's why 543 emulsion is commonly used for uh, normal purposes so these are the five categories of force meat here you can see the preparation of 543 emulsion force meat we are mixing meat fat and ice together to get this force meat here you can see the table which denotes peculiarities of five types of force meat and these are the types of force meat and here you can see the either speciality or uh, ratio so in case of straight force meat it is one is to one is to one ratio pork pork fat and dominant meat and in case of country style there is no ratio specified the speciality is that it is also called as combania which means countryside force meat and gratin gratin the speciality is again cooking the ingredients prior to grinding and in muslin it is creamy and light textured in case of 543 emulsion the ratio is 543 of meat fat and ice respectively and next one is type of meat using in straight force meat is any kind of meat 
but not fish or poultry. In case of country style, it is pork, jowl fat or back fat. And in case of gratin, any meat can be used for gratin. In mucilin, whale, fish, poultry like white meats are normally using. And in 543 emulsion, pork and jowl fat are commonly using. And about the texture of this force meats, straight force meat is finer and less dense. Whereas country style force meat is not that much fine, it's coarse texture. And gratin is again smooth. Mucilin is very light and creamy. And again 543 is again smooth paste. In case of flavoring agent, straight force meat, the flavoring agents used are shallot, shallots, wine, allspice, ground white pepper, etc. In case of country style, the flavoring agents are garlic, onion, juniper berries, bay leaf, nutmeg, etc. In gratin force meat, it already have a nutty flavor. And in mucilin force meat, mild or the flavor is very mild. And in 543 emulsion, the flavoring agent we are adding according to the end product because it is used for various types of products. And the binding agent used in this are in straight line force meat or straight force meat. The binding agent is myosin and in country style it is egg or panada or even fat can be used as a binding agent. In gratin force meat egg is the binding agent and in mucilin egg and cream are using. It acts as a binding agent as well as it helps to make it light and creamy. And in 543 emulsion we are using non-fat dry milk, sodium caseinate, phosphate etc. So by studying this chart you will get an overall idea about the specialities of or the difference between all kinds of force